Well, hey, my fly subscribers. So I'm going to be tying this today. I've tied it before in the past, but I had a customer, uh, Ryan, and his channel or handle on Instagram. I think he does YouTube too. Is called uh, Fishing with Sauce, and he orders these a lot. And I think I've tied them on camera for you guys before, but. It's a big order, so I don't know when I'm going to have time to tie something else on camera. And I just want to make sure that I get a video out for you guys. So you guys can see me tie this once again. So I have these and I pre-cut. These are uh, squirrel strips, pine squirrel in black. He wants it in black. You tie these in any color. Anyway, I just measure out the hook shank right here, put that right at the back, and that's a little long, I guess I cut these a little long, that's okay, we'll fix that, separate out part of the hide to expose just the, I'm sorry, part of the fiber here to expose just the hide. Make two tight wraps over it. Oh, I guess I didn't. Somehow I measured that out wrong. It seems a little short to me, that tail. Let's make it slightly longer. Yeah, it's a little better. All right, so two or three tight wraps. And then I got this brush that I made. I'm going to pull off some of the wire. It might have been too much of the wire. All right, I pull off some of the fiber from the wire. Make two or three tight wraps there, and then wind this all the way up. And then let's clip that off because it's too much. It's going to stick over the eye of the hook. You just need it to go up close to the eye. Okay. And then pull the hide up. Sorry if there's not a lot of light here, guys. So we're going to go over the top here. You can see I've got some of the um, hide sticking out. So we're going to cut that off real close. Clean up that head so that way none of the fiber goes right in the eye of the hook and none of the, the hide is sticking out. Okay. So one way you could do this is you could actually tie this on just at the head and not do it this way. But I think this transitions the body a little more um, from the tail into the, the head, in my opinion. So we're going to make there's two wraps in the back. Technically, it's one full. Just some of the wire was sticking out. I'm going to separate some of this fiber. I'm going to wrap the wire over. Try to keep that right directly on top. And we're kind of open spiral wrapping this. I'm just separating the fiber of the, the squirrel as we wrap through it. It's kind of hard with a brush to do this, I'm going to be honest. A little easier if it's just ow, straight wire. Ooh, got myself good, guys. Um, but this really does make it look good, so. Try not to trap too much fiber there. All right, that's a good bushy head. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the thread, we're gonna come up over like this, and we're gonna wiggle that thread to try to trap less of the fiber. Now you're gonna trap some. I go over it twice, 
and then pull everything rearward, wet your fingers, so that way all the fiber gets corks back. Stuck all over my fingers. There we go. Turn this, pull this up, and then cut it off close. Use wire cutters, not your nice scissors, guys. You will dull them because it is wire. Okay. Then you can whip finish. Three or four turn whip finish doesn't have to be super strong because we are gonna resin up the head. Now, you could finish uh, fish it just like this. Actually, I like to pick this out. Actually, first guys, always pick this out. That'll help with it, but. So you could fish it just like this and it would fish totally fine. That would be great, but um, I'm adding eyes just to make it look more like a little bait fish. So I will do that in a minute. What I like doing is tying a whole bunch of these. You can see um, here, so I tie a whole bunch, all that I need to tie, so I'm tying 10 of them for this order. And uh, so I'm gonna get to tying it, all of them, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to add the eyes on. All right guys, so now we are gonna add the eyes did on that one. So let's grab one of these. I have these eyes, quite nice looking, Living Eyes by Fish Skull. The five millimeter size, you can see, okay. Um, similar though, I mean you can buy some less expensive eyes. They're very similar looking um, online for the silver color. The only difference is that pupil is a little bit different. You'll see in a second. So let's turn this. I like to turn it sideways. Put a little dot super glue right up at the head here. And then these eyes, it's gonna be hard to show you on here. I'll have to just put it on. So we got the super glue up by the head. I like just putting it right up by the head and you'll see what I do in a second. So put it on. And put it on the other side. Oh, fingers are sticking to each other. Well, that didn't work out. Sometimes this happens, sometimes it doesn't. But I think I added too much. Let's see if we can get this to stay. There we go. And that got all gummed up, but we'll fix that in a second. All right, so see how the pupil here is what I was talking about. It's not perfectly even. I generally try to push that towards the front. I mean, it's like the little point part. But before we do anything, let's look at it from the front. And let's make sure that this is semi-even, that it's gonna track properly. Okay, that's about right. All right, so as you can see, there's a gap in between. We're gonna fix that. We're also gonna end up fixing that uh, where I got the super glue on the eye, so. All right, so you can see in the gap here, I've got this, um, this is Solarez Ultra Thin formula. Um, if you're going much larger of a fly, you'd wanna go with like their medium viscosity or their thick But, um, so we're gonna fill that cavity up, as you can see. We're gonna let that kind of soak in for a second. Don't get any in the eye of the hook. That's why I kind of angled this up, as you can see. It makes it drip down into the fiber rather than in front of the eye. And we cure that with this UV light. Now, it's still a flat spot on top. I like to get a shape of this, you know, to look more like a, head kind of even that out you can you don't have to wait for that to soak in because it already did so you can see now you've got that nice transition in okay 
So let's turn it downward. Do the same thing under. So I've got these couple little fibers sticking up. It's gonna harden and kind of look funky. So, all right, let's go ahead and fill this. Again, don't get any in the eye of the hook. Let it kind of soak in for a second. There we go, and then we're just going to cure it. And that actually, you know, yeah, let's get just a little bit more. In fact, we didn't have to squeeze any out. There's some left on the bottle. There we go. Yeah, that transitions a little better. Let's put this back even. Now, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just super glue all the eyes on and then come back and do this step. And then I come back. I like to do these in steps. And I come back and I've got this solar res ultra thin. Or they call it bone dry. And it's got a little handy paintbrush on it. Okay, it's quite thin, um, so it's not going to bulk up too much, but you can see that just basically took care of the issue. Well, you don't want any in the eye of the hook, just paint it around that. This does a couple things. One, it covers up the, the gumminess that I got on the eye. You want to start carrying this from further back, by the way, while spinning it, and then you can come in closer, and that'll make it nice and even. What that does is puts another coat around even the eyes and everything. It just really makes sure that those are solid in there. So there we go. Now you could fish it just like this, totally fishable. Um, but my customer I'm selling this to likes to get this trim. So what I do is I come in, he wants, uh, wants a little, a little shorter here. I like it long, but you know, what he wants not me so I'm just gonna trim it it's a little tougher so I'm taking it off the vise because I kind of need it off the vise to trim under the hook here and the hook gap you just want to try to transition this right you don't want it to look choppy I mean, it will a little bit, which is kind of the nature of this fly, but that's okay. It doesn't seem to matter. You can, if you want, you can come through and if you trim it, try to make that look a little more like a transition rather than like a blockiness. You don't even have to trim it this much, or you can not trim it at all. I would fish it not trimmed, personally. Um, but little cuts. Little cuts as you go. Don't do a lot of big cuts. Let's go ahead and wet it and see what that looks like. When wet, you can see it's a nice little transition there. This will look a little different under the water than while wet, but there we go. Quick, simple, mini little bait fish you can see next to my finger. This works though really well for him. He's caught quite a few tarpon off this, which is interesting for such a small fly. This is a really strong hook. By the way, I'm not sure I told you guys what hook I'm using. It's the SL12, I believe, the Gamagatsu SL12, and the S, so it's the short. They make a SL12 that's a longer shank and it's a silver hook or a stainless hook. This is still pretty stainless. It's that um, black, uh, I forgot what it's called, but um, it's a black coating. And that tends to be pretty stainless too, um, but it's strong and it's just short little shank. I really like these for, for this. Um, so there we go. This is what I'm tying for my customer. And uh, yeah, they're great, great little flies. I mean, I, you know, 
he started off with just something without the tail. Um, he was fishing a lot where it was just basically, I called it a brush minnow. Um, this is the pine squirrel brush minnow, I guess. Pine pine tail, pine squirrel tail brush minnow. I don't, I don't even know. I don't think I have a name for it really, but, um, and I'm sure I'm not the only person that's done something like this. Um, it's too simple that it's got to be other people that have made a fly just like it, but I suggested putting a little tail on it. He liked the idea. So he tried fishing it and actually he might even asked about that. I'm not sure exactly how this came about, but yeah, it works really well for him. He catches quite a few fish and yeah, um, He's ordered quite a few of these and keeps coming back for more. So I don't like this little area sticking up. So let's transition that a little better. It wants to move out of the way of scissors, even super sharp ones like this. That's okay. You don't you don't want it to overcut, right? Um, you can always cut more later. You can't take any off. So there we go. I like that better. So anyway, um, if you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Um, plus, you'll get updates on more content. I generally try to come out with one every week, a video every week, a fly tying video. But, you know, we just moved. So this last couple, the last month, basically, I hadn't come out with any um, until just uh, two weeks ago. So thank you for your patience for those that have been waiting for videos. But hopefully I can do one a week now. Um, I might skip one or two here and there while we're still trying to unpack. Um, it's been a long process, guys. Really long. But um, yeah, please subscribe for more content. Also, uh, my sponsor is Risen Fly. Now, I didn't use their hook today just because this is the hook that my subscriber, or that my, sorry, my, um, <laughs> my customer likes. Uh, it is quite strong. Now, um, I don't believe Risen makes one with this shape at this small. And that's what he wanted. So um, this is what we ended up going with. But Risen makes, uh, they manufacture hooks, rods and reels, um, a whole bunch of stuff for fly fishing, really good quality stuff. Um, now they don't manufacture everything for fly tying. They do have some materials. You might be able to get some of it that I used here. I think they do sell some eyes and stuff like that. But if you want, um, you know, name brand materials, um, I do link. Um, up until just recently, I was linking to the Fly Artist, but they're taking a hold, I guess. Um, so I'll just link to Amazon where I can't find um, the stuff through the Fly Artist. Um, if I can't find it in Amazon, I'll try to find it somewhere else and link to all the products that I used today. If I can't find exactly this product or whatever I use, then I'll link to something that is similar that will work just, just the same. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, um, I appreciate you watching. Um, check back next week. And I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.